Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting on my porch, having my coffee with all you, and yes, the temperature is dropping. It is dropping, so I'll be lighting a fire tonight. You know what? I think I need to go see if I can work on that big log that's back in my woods, don't you think? First, I gotta go check those eggs because the chickens were caterwauling a little while ago, and I think we may have a new egg layer. Licky here. We're in the, kind of like in the front here. And there's a bunch of bedding down here. I'll put a little egg just in case somebody want to lay an egg down here. And we got a brand new egg. This is a little tiny one. So I'm pretty sure it's got to have come from one of the new girls. I am thinking that it is beauty because she... <laughs> oh, who is that? Because she was sitting on the nest the other day. And look at A brand new egg. That, I'm pretty sure that that is a cocoa egg. Let's compare the size. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. See the difference in size and color? Yeah, the one on the right has got to be from one of the new girls. This is exciting. I got my wagon and my trusty sidekick with me. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get it through this little trail I've been kind of walking through. Got to go up and down a hill, go over a little uh, drainage ditch. So, I don't know, I think I can do it. Yeah, that piece of wood right there is so rotten, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's just basically falling apart, so I don't think I'll ever be able to burn that. All right, here we go. Hopefully I can get down here. <laughs> piece of cake. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh! Okay. Come on, Papa, we can do it. There it is, in all her glory. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start over there. So I'm gonna go around this way. You know where we're at? This is my favorite mushroom tree. Oh my gosh, hopefully I haven't destroyed it so much that it won't spawn mushrooms. And it's right over the place where I find those oyster mushrooms. Oh well, that's all right. So let's go all the way down here. And I had already made one little cut over here. So I think what I'm going to do is cut these little limbs off and then chop it up a little bit more, take it back by the tiny house and maybe chop it up some more. Silly me, I forgot my tripod and you know what, I'm not going all the way back up to the house. I'm just going to do this and I'll show you what I got done afterwards. I got all those little pieces off with my Fisker's axe. And boy, I tell you what, I mean, this is a green tree, so I don't think I'll be burning it this year. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But hopefully, if I had a few sunny days, I could sit it out in the sun and let it dry out a little bit. But I can also take it into the tiny house and put it near the stove and let it dry out that way. So now I'm just going to take that, put it up on there, use the bow saw, and get it cut apart. There it is. It seems like it should be more, but I've got all the rest of it to do. So, I'm just going to move this wagon a little bit over here and see if I can lift, lift it up on top of this other side and just start cutting it off. But you know what? I'm going to go down and cut off as many of these little limbs as I can first. Look, i got to show you. This is just testament to how awesome this Fisker's Axe is. Basically, all you got to do is just tap it. Tap it couple times for some of them and it's gone easy peasy oops <laughs> hard to do it and film at the same time but oops look at that that is all done and this is ready to be taken apart yeah I think I'm just gonna fill this wagon up a few times and maybe just cut it all up out here I think that's gonna have to be enough for this load because it's pretty heavy and I have to go through the woods I still have all of this left to do, and that's quite a bit, but that's okay. I think I can get it done today, but it is literally green. <laughs> that's all right. It'll dry eventually. I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do today because I am tired. I got it to here. I've got that much more left to go. I think that I, I've got about more than half of it done. Um, this is going to be the harder part because I'm already starting to tell how much bigger this is than the other pieces that I was cutting down. But 
I'm going to go ahead and take this back to this tiny house, split it up, stack it up, and call it a day. Y'all remember this, don't you? I love this thing. Look at that. Love it. I could probably leave this one whole, but I'm going to split it. Because it's so green, I'm thinking it might dry out a little bit better. If I split them. Right on. I could do this all day. Not the sawing part. That's kind of a little bit more work. Oh, this wood is so green. But I'm getting it done today, so. This is kind of just like a mindless task. You can just do it and look around and get it done. You do got to pay attention, though, because sometimes the wood will fly up after it splits, so you got to be careful. I got it all split up. A lot of it I split pretty small just because it's so green and I'm hoping that will help it dry out a little bit. I do like to keep some of these pieces like this and I'm going to take a few of these inside the tiny house because when I build my fire I use these for each side and then I put kindling in the middle and then uh, a log criss cross, uh, crosswise over the top. So I'm going to take a few of these in and just see if I can get them to burn at all. Um, but if they don't, that's okay, uh, because these are just supporting all the other wood. So now it's just time to stack it all up. Boy, I tell you what, this little tent is filling up. That's all poplar. Um, that piece is poplar. This is all just different stuff. It's going to take forever to dry out. This cedar is probably just about ready to burn. Um, in fact, I burnt some of it, and it burns just fine. So, <laughs> I still have that other big piece of the log to cut up. It's not all going to fit in here. I, you know what? I am likely just to stack it up on here because this is all just as green and wet as this is. It's not really super wet. It's just not super dry. So, I think I'm just going to put all the poplar in here, stack it up, and use it very last. <laughs> I don't know, though. I've got, I've got like these pieces in here I'm going to take inside and just kind of test them out and see how they burn you know on the sides of the wood burning stove but I'm pooped look at who we got down here it's almost 6 p.m. that is beauty and you can't see it but there is an egg underneath of there I know for sure she laid an egg that means the other that means uh, Scarlet laid an egg too good girl Oh, look at that. It's a soft-shelled egg. Poor baby. Yeah, I'll get that out of there so you don't have to mess with it. Yeah, she's not quite regulated yet, but I have every confidence that she will be soon. I am done for the day. I am going to cover up this beautiful log splitter that I've got and sit on the porch. Oh, I made myself some Bengal spice tea, some herbal tea. Oh, I'm going to go finish that and drink that up. I forgot all about that. 
So that's what I'm going to do. Anyhow, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to hit the rest of that log and get it done tomorrow. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.